For the first time ever, British Airways. I am so excited about this yes. story, okay? Yes. So, all right, take it all in. All right. For the first <laughs> time ever, don't take it all in like that, John. I tried. I had to take a deep breath. Jesus. <laughs> For the first time Not ever, British Airways will allow male pilots and crew members to wear makeup and earrings. As per the updated policy that became effective on November 14th, the airline will allow staff to be bold, be proud, be yourself. Meanwhile, Virgin Atlantic also has news for the queer community. The airline has ditched its former gendered uniform policy. Now women can wear pants, men can wear skirts, and job applications have skyrocketed since this news. Yeah. Virgin no longer has issues recruiting the best potential employees. We applaud this British move. Question number six, with a Bacardi ginger shot. That's real ginger in there. Okay, David. Like yes, you did. That for in, Leslie. All right. I swallow <laughs> that. I love the British invasion as Virgin and British Air make sweeping gender issues in flight. Yes. 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 Shout out to them. I, I, for sure. Thought like were gay. I mean, male flight attendants like they were prohibited from wearing makeup. Because I could have sworn all them flight attendants were wearing makeup when I saw them, and everybody knew, and it was fine. I think oh, they, I, they, don't mean mean like, like they don't mean like makeup that just conceals like they what I'm wearing. Makeup. They're meaning yeah. like liner like drag that you can see. Kind of or like no, not no, drag, no, no, just but even like more maybe, expressive. Exactly. Like you can have something just like um, just normal. Like not, not normal, but just like not a lot of like makeup. An like eyeshadow, a cat eye. Shadow, if, a man okay. wants, if man wants to wear eyeliner, right. he's still okay. it's beyond It's beyond makeup because that's the thing. And, and yeah, I think yes. that mm -hmm. statement's the most important. We're finding the best possible people. That should be industry pay attention to that. Yeah. Because that's part of the problem, is that if you have industries in this world that is full of diverse people, whether it be black women's hair, all of mm -hmm. these kinds of strange things, it's like, mm -hmm. guys, this is a new, a new century. You yeah. really have to stop acting like it's like, yeah. Letting they want to go. They yeah, want to control everything, the and market it's is not that very way. Competitive. And, and think about who are the best flight attendants. Yes. The, they uh, are the, folks. Or well, LGBTQ people, plus people folks. People are expressive and, and, and can live up to who they are. And, and imagine going to work, loving yourself, and loving what you did to yourself that day. And this is how I express myself. It's so amazing. You know, as, as someone who's two spirit. One day I might feel this guy. Yeah. Next day I might feel like this, this, this person or this them. And I can live my moment and be that. I, that's amazing. But when you stifle that growth, you stifle yeah. that productivity, you stifle that that amazing amazingness. And one thing I will share: we have a person, a community member here, who is transitioning, and she is able to. Uh, uh, her airlines is American Airlines, right. and I won't say her name, but she get, she was fully embraced to allow herself to wear her uniform as herself. That's that was and when I saw that, I was so amazed. I was too. The the whole was. the whole message and her and her whole platform had changed yeah that smile changes and I said and, and, but imagine and now imagine her, her work was I think was probably on 10 now it's like 110 yeah because she's comfortable in her skin well because she be, and also she believes in the company that she works yes. for okay right. a happy Absolutely. employee yes. is yeah. always gonna work harder for the place okay yes. and that's my that's sister true. literally my sister okay she's a woman um, and you know transitioning of the of the trans experience and she works for Delta Airlines I'm not gonna say her name Absolutely. everybody here knows her but the fact that like they had a special stylist for her. You awesome. know what I mean? And awesome. she's got these beautiful Aww. uniforms and she looks incredible in them, you know? They know she's trans. They embrace the fact that she's trans. And, you know, and I don't want to give this airline a pass. They're smart. Right. This is smart. Think about it, you know, well, when you But do you think that well, that works for every industry? No. Should we Yes, it does. It does. The, okay. the thing is the reason why it's working for organizations right now is because the market is really competitive. This is an employee market right we have yes. so many people like just jumping from job to job from company to company there's no really loyalty and so what happens is we need to fight for the top candidates that we mm -hmm. can what's the smartest way to do it is to opening it up to everyone yeah. why would you want to not find the top talent by stifling the, the the employee so you have a lot of attrition people tend to leave but right now what what british airways is doing mm -hmm is saying, I want to give someone a safe place and a, yes. an environment where they can be themselves because we want to keep them. We want them to work hard. Yeah. We want to incentivize things. We want to put benefits in where we can keep them for long term because then well, we don't have to keep looking for other people. Right. And they're going to, Delta's going to go, oh, we just lost someone to British. Yep. Yeah. American Airlines, mm. oh, we just lost. Oh, yeah, and that training is now a one, two, three. It's it takes right. months. So it you're going to train yeah. somebody and then lose them. You know, and I mean, I think it's and, super smart. And to go to, like you said, and go to an airline that says, you know what, I want you as you are because that flight attendant is going to want to go to work because they don't have to worry about, yes. I got to take this off. I got to now, I got to now put, put I got to put myself, before, I gotta, I gotta put myself I gotta in the luggage. Again. I got to put myself yeah. in the closet. Yeah. I can go right. out as who I truly it's am. It's part of your package, right? Like if you think, if you think salary and bonus, 
But some of that, those benefits include me dressing as yeah. I want to feel yes. and as I and am. Me, yep. Like it's, if I get a meal voucher or if it, that's all part of your package. If of I get course. to come here and wear a skirt because this is who I feel I am today, then that's the company I want to work well, with. Right, and you're representing LGBTQ plus as a whole in front of 300 people at each flight, all right? right. You're going to encounter people that have never been around LGBTQ, mm -hmm. right? And all of a sudden, you're not dressed in a comfortable way to be able to retaliate, to defend yourself, you know? Mm -hmm. Let me be dressed how I want to be dressed, how I authentically am able to show who I am. Very and it's true. things that we take for granted, like a man bun, okay? Mm -hmm. Earrings, all right? Uh, lashes. These are all things that were not allowed to be worn by flight attendants, and now Virgin and British Airways are going to allow them to. Yep. And, and even uh, even now, they some people have some airlines are allowing them to wear their pronoun pens, which I think is even even better yeah. because now you're not again you're now authentically being who you are. I want to go to work. I want to do those yep. things. I want to be myself in, in my job. I want to stay at this job because they now accept me. They see me. Yeah. I can grow here. Well, I don't have to worry about well, it. This, this, is also, also, this is also measured though, like when when yes. when yes. employees leave companies and they do exit interviews that's, right. that's right. often when they're using like a leadership mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. money is like the number five yep. on the yep. reason of why they would leave they've always left because of another reason you'll take a pay cut to go right. somewhere yeah. and be yourself and be, and be and be valued and yeah. feel like mm -hmm. you can grow I, I work in an industry in, in the classical world like they're in addition to selling music they're also selling image and they're also selling class and so it's been a discussion mainly on my part but i feel like it's not even a discussion in this world anymore but like mm. men have to wear tuxedos and girls have to wear some kind of elegant black or whatever and these this binary is like very strong in the industry so if i said yeah i don't feel comfortable not necessarily because of gender but maybe because i, I just don't feel comfortable in jackets performing so i would say like you know i wish i would be able to wear what the you know like a, a female like so you wouldn't be so able to dress billy porter gender fluid kind oh of hell deal. no you wouldn't be able to no like, literally it is, they would tell you to leave there's a paper that says that you can't there's a paper that is specifically tells you what you need to look wow. like as a male and as a female and wow. they're in they're in wilton manners too no, I, so I, I this, don't, uh, yeah. I don't yeah, so it's a, a it's conversation I know. hope that it gets. Because they don't know what to do with it, right? They haven't been trained and they don't know how to tell you. They're you need part to of look the community presentable. as well. Yeah, but they don't know how to, how to, how to say you need to look, be presentable. When airlines are saying you can wear your earrings or you can show your tattoo, but that tattoo can't say fuck off. <laughs> no. You know, yeah. so yeah. you can wear a skirt because it. it's still presentable. <laughs> so they just don't know how to manage that process. But, and it's also a service that people have to fly. I mean, so, you know, come and allow your, your, your people who, who look like my fire tents can come and feel safe on this flight. And we're making space for you. And so therefore, imagine it, those, those families, we have siblings who can't go to certain spaces because they don't feel safe. Yeah. So imagine our siblings knowing that there's a flight attendant who looks like them on the flight. And, and I think I, until the capitalism joins into where people are that you, people don't want to change because they're, they're fearful of the people who support them are not going to spend their money. Yeah, guess who's the number one airline for to places to work for in Europe? British. Ooh, British. British, 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 British. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Well, so that's I'd Swallow That. That was such a great, a great um, segment. And I know, you need more booze. I do yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> right? To Leslie Jordan. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's what LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.